Buju, Kinamagi and Nene Airline and Dejnikas, and welcome to this technology presentation. Today's presentation 21 Things for Students Basics, Quest 8. You should click on this link right here. It says Q8 email etiquette, as we'll be discussing um, email etiquette today. That'll open up this. And the first thing you should always do at the beginning of each lesson is scroll down on the right to student checklist. As, after you watch me do this, you should definitely do the same. That way you can roll back the video if you need a reminder on how to accomplish one of the tasks. So this brings up their copy. I do not have edit access, but what I can do is go file, make a copy for me. You can leave everything else the same and click before it and just put your first name and then go okay. Once you do that, you may close out the other one because we won't need it anymore. And you should put in your name. So far, you've now made a copy with your name on it, and now you also have your name on this. And then you're going to go ahead and share. To share it, you're going to type in mireland at sagchipschool.net. Click on it and send. And if you could hear in the background, my phone dinged because I have now shared this with me. At this point, I can help you out because I'll know exactly where you're at and what you've worked on. This checklist is going to be useful to you in guiding your own learning. But it's also useful in exhibiting what you've accomplished to me. So each of these steps, you can, when you complete it, check it off. And I usually just use an X. And you can see the list isn't very long. Some of them will be longer than others. So now you're gonna go back and forth between these two tabs. So we start out the top at email etiquette. It says, why, and you have the two elephants here. Why did you forward that picture you made of me? I'm so embarrassed. I'm sorry. I'll never forget how funny it looked with the butterfly wings. I just didn't think it would upset you. I'll ask you next time. And if you have some experience with email, you'll know that people like to send forwards of things um, where this is kind of like the uh, quote unquote prehistoric way of sharing memes is to do it via email. But you also need to be cognizant of what you're sending so that it's you're not sending things you shouldn't. And this is especially true if you're using a school account. Um, certain things definitely shouldn't be there. School appropriateness does matter. And that's part of your email etiquette. So introduction. Below are five video episodes based on things you might experience when using email. These provide opportunities for class discussion and thoughtful reflection on using email. The goal of this quest is for you to your class to create a classroom guide to email etiquette and safety. Your I can statements can list the basic components of an email. Apply basic email etiquette and safety. So some vocabulary. Well, what does the word etiquette mean? It's a code of polite conduct. In other words, it's having good manners. Flame. A flame is an abusive message posted on the internet or sent by email. And a hoax is a plan to deceive someone. So the first thing is, let's play the vocabulary game to practice the key vocabulary. So steps, explore and watch the videos in the five sections below. Click on the plus to expand and the negative to contract them when you're done. Um, I'm not going to divide you into small groups as we work individually during this part of the program. The goal is for you to create your own classroom guide 
to email etiquette and safety. And it's something that if you want to, you could make as a presentation or at the very least have these skills available to you. The following episodes are just a glimpse into some things you may experience. You will learn about other situations in the quest in thing six, cyber safety. And many of you have siblings or relatives whom you have heard talking about something that happened to them. So let's look at these different parts. Attachments. So you're gonna open that up. You'll watch the video. Then you're gonna do email forwarding. Here, watch that video. Flames. And I don't hear that term as often, but you should watch it. Too quick to respond. Two friends discuss a new app and a sending before thinking experience. We all know that that's happened. Caught. Um, section on a student younger than 13 is using email and his brother and dad have some words with him. Keep in mind a large amount of what you do online is age dependent. And while some of you may have social media accounts that your parents have okayed, in many cases, we are below the minimum age in this classroom. However, that doesn't mean that you can't have email via your school Gmail, um, and it's a very useful tool. Um, just be careful on some of the social media parts. And additional netiquette resources. Um, Create a means to showcase your guide. This is up to you. This is an extra credit thing that you may do. Um, and then you see at the bottom some basic bonus gold quests. We will be looking at a few of these, um, like files and domains, valuable communication tools. Those will be coming up in future lessons. So let's see what we've already accomplished. We read the introduction. Now let's do the key vocabulary quizlet. If you notice, we didn't see an easy link there. One thing you can do is hit control and put it over there and then put your cursor over it and it'll bring up the link and you can go ahead and click it. So now we have a direct link to the Quizlet. So etiquette, and I wanna know what the word etiquette means. It's having good manners. Flame, an abusive message posted on the internet or sent by email and hoax, a plan to deceive someone. So guess what? You have now actually done that portion. So when you're done, you could keep it there or you could close it. Um, sometimes I like to leave things open until I'm done with a, a section just so I don't accidentally close something I need to. So I'm gonna leave that there. And now I can say X, that was pretty quick. Now you're gonna go through and you're gonna watch all videos um, that are there. And that'll be pretty easy for you. Worked with a group or, or small full class to create a con, or contribute to the email etiquette and safety classroom guide. This is only going to be done as extra credit because of the nature of our current situation and the length of our day. And then you shared this completed guide. If you've already done that portion here, you could go ahead and exit that off. And the roadmap, I haven't done a whole lot with you on, but that's okay. So at this point, feel free to go ahead and continue on this process. These are going to be in our afternoon um, portions of the day where you can work on your technology. So be looking forward to some other posts that'll be coming up there very shortly as we now transition into back into the hybrid model. Hope you all have a minogizhi guide. Minwa bama pee.